Alright, what's good with y'all? What's good, man? I'm doing something different today. I know everybody probably ain't gonna like it, but hey, man. I've been seeing, I saw a couple of comments. I was like, this is a great idea. So today, I'm gonna do a tool review. Y'all know I'm building my own. I'm getting my tool game up. I just been showing them to y'all here and there in the vlog, showing y'all what I got. But I ain't been talking about how they work and all that. And they kind of tie into what we're doing anyway, because this stuff make life a whole lot easier, especially the impact. Man, I need to do one on that impact, man, because I think with TJ, I got you, man. I'm going to do a video. Like, I, ain't, I don't do this stuff strictly for views or whatever. I do it because I really like it. That's why I've been doing it 12 years. I've been doing YouTube 12 years. I ain't been getting paid 12 years, but I love it, man. I love what I do. I really appreciate y'all, too. Uh, it sound, you know, it's easy to say on camera, but I really do appreciate everybody, man. I mean, you got that hard lawyer supporters, and then you got people that come for certain content, then you just got people that in and out. So, but I appreciate everybody in the end. But I'm gonna review this. So uh, I'm gonna review the air compressor car. Why not? One of y'all might want it. One of y'all might need it. None of this stuff. It ain't no pay review. I buy all these tools, so I'm just I'm gonna show y'all the setup and all this stuff. So they get into it. Alright, so this is it. This is what I got. As you can see by the thumbnail, cobalt, 8 gallon air compressor. I'm guessing it'll run tools, air tools, I mean, which I don't need because I like, I'm, I'm building my uh, electric tool game up and getting that up. But, because I like electric is the way to go to me and that portable. But, I need it. I need it for feeling tired. That's why I bought it. Caught a good deal on it. Bought it from Lowe's. But, uh, you know, stuff like that. Like big meat. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna uh put some air in the tires, big meat car, man. It just it just sitting. So that's why I got this. I like to come in handy, pumping up tires and all that, but I don't know, it, it should be enough to run air tools if you want it, cause it, it goes it's up to a hundred and fifty uh PSI. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all, up to hundred and fifty PSI. So it should be enough to run an air tool, which I mean I'm not gonna do nothing but uh like I said fill up tires and use the blower. So I'm gonna get it unboxed and we're gonna uh, see what we gotta put together. So I got everything out. This would come in the box. Say you got your uh you got your pump and all of that, you got your air tank, you got your handle, hardware, two wheels. So it really really not not too much assembly required or whatever the the handle just slips in here, then I think it's two, it's two bolts. I think it's a total of four four bolts, and then you got your instructions right here, which you definitely want to read these. I'm definitely going to read. Uh, this is my first time owning a compressor, so I'm definitely going to read. I don't know, whatever. You got your quick connect, and then I got to show y'all what I got, too. I got the Cobalt brand uh, fittings and blower kit and uh, air truck and all that stuff, too. So I'm going to get this hooked up, then we're going to plug it up. And I'll uh, see how it do. So y'all stay tuned. All right, y'all. So got the hardware out, and I like the bolts. Good grade of bolt. Said you can use an Allen, or you can use a, a wrench and, and ratchet and socket. And it's a 17 millimeter bolt. These are for the wheels actually. They go in through the wheels, and then you got your you got your caps. They go on to make it all uh, look good. You know the wheel uh, mount right there, and then you got these cap cap uh, screws and they just screw into right here to tighten the handle tighten the handle on secure the handle so and of course obviously just hand tight is good get it snug see it tightening up so really quick 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 assembly uh i mean for somebody that don't have a a big toolbox you could get an adjustable wrench in you know, make it happen. If you didn't have the right tool, you could, like I said, get an adjustable wrench and be good to go. And you'll be able to get this thing put together. But, uh, let me get this done. Cause I'm trying to record and do all this. Y'all see, I'm fighting finna fight with it. Finna turn into a job and it shouldn't be. Gotta put a little tension on it. So, I'm gonna do that. Then I'll catch y'all in a minute. All right. We got everything assembled pretty easy. And I take that back. Adjustable wrench, uh, you wouldn't be able to get up in there. So get your 17 millimeter wrench so you can hold that, that nut on the back side and make it easy and just hit the uh hit the bolt right here with a ratchet. And like I said, 17 millimeter. 
Um, but I went ahead and went with Cobalt brand everything. I figured it'll work best. I mean, it's Cobalt compressor. So I got the Cobalt uh, 50 foot quarter inch holes. And that's a quarter inch quick connect fit, fitting too. So you definitely won't know that, but most of them quarter inch, I guess. Uh, said that's the max PSI and all that. This is 50, 52 dollar holes. Like I said, it's the most expensive one they had, so I figure it's the best. You get what you pay for. And I don't believe in going cheap on tools. I mean, I believe in getting what you need too. Like, they make way more expensive air compressor, but if you don't need all of that, like, don't get it. I mean, I got this what I need. So then I got the cobalt. Like, it come with all the fittings. Said it got everything I needed. Like, so it made sense. I had the air tuck right there, and I got the blower right here. So and Teflon tape, obviously. So I'm about, I'm about to get all that set up. And then we're gonna try that bad boy out over there on big meat. Pump the tires up and all that. See how to see how it cycle and all that stuff. So alright, Cobalt. We're gonna see what it do. And like I oh the, the compressor. At the time I bought it, it's $110 on tomorrow's deal. I think the thing normally run 160 or 150. Somewhere up in there. So if you're looking at the video and you need a good compressor and you like what you see, you might want to go snatch it. I don't know if it's in my area, but I got it from Lowe's. It was $110 at the time. Not a bad price. I think with, with all of this, with all this stuff right here, I ended up paying $211. $211. All of this, what you see. So that ain't bad. But let's get this set up and we're going to try this bad boy out. All right, y'all. So I got everything out. And uh, as you can see, it comes with a lot of extra stuff that I mean, for you to use. I mean, I don't need it. Like I said, you know, I got the quick connect on the compressor and everything, but I got the blower. I already got the tip screwed in, and then you got to Teflon tape the fittings. So you definitely make sure you, you wrap the fittings with Teflon tape. They just screw in, screw inside of there, and screw inside of there. And then it come, actually come with a come with a tire uh, air pressure gauge too, so that's good. That's good too. And then some... When you first cut your compressor, I do know this might let the tank fill all the way up for you. So I'm gonna get the uh, Teflon tape put on these, and uh, we're gonna get ready to try it out. Hey y'all, all right. So we got everything set up. It's your bleed valve. Yep. Got the pressure gauges. We got it plugged up. Get the hose plugged in. Then we're gonna turn it on and you know, let the let the tank fill up with air. And we're gonna see how it works. So and this hose I got man, I could have left it in the garage and all that. That's why I got it. It long too. Feel pretty good. They make hoses bigger than this too, so turn on. <laughs> So, got everything straightened out. Teflon tape, we good, no leaks. And uh, you got a pressure, you got a tool pressure valve right here. I got it turned all the way up. Good pressure. So, this the blow. Definitely good pressure. So, I'm already. Positive the air tuck gonna be good. Yeah, this, this really more than enough for what I need to do, and I just see. no leaks. Pump these tires up. Uh huh. So here go your here go your tool pressure, and you can turn it up and down. I got it turned all the way up. Like I said, shit, air pressure and all that. So. About to see how we do on these tires. Should do pretty good. All right, so we right here. Oh yeah, we in the game now. Well, we all the way in the game. Yeah, they definitely, definitely more than enough for what I need. Oh yeah, about to make some stuff happen now. 
think I'm gonna get me a pressure wash next. So yeah, they good right there. Go to the back, pump these back tires up. All right, so that's it. That's it, man. It's a quick little review. I'm gonna start doing these, man, little short reviews or whatever. I like it. I like it all in all, man. Like it, it, it do what I needed to do. It definitely pumped the tires up. Did it quick. Uh, perfect, perfect amount of air. Good side tank. Uh, motor. I mean, everything, everything running good. I mean, I'll check back in with y'all as time go on, but y'all gonna see it in my videos anyway. Obviously, it's gonna be getting used. So, all in all, man, it's a great buy. Definitely great bang for the buck. I mean, like I said, I paid 110. Air holes good. Everything good. No leaks. On the uh, tools, the air tools and stuff, and I'm probably gonna be adding a few more, like a little sander, a little hand sander and stuff like that, sand wheel for removing gaskets and stuff. So it'll power all that. But yeah, man, it's a it's a pretty good, pretty good little investment. So you trying to do stuff at the house, you don't need overkill. Go ahead and check it out, y'all. Catch y'all next video. I'm out.